My name is Super Double P. My name is Kerry Kubini. And my name is VDJ Hall. And with us today in studio, making a comeback. Uh-huh. We're making a comeback. We were intellectual. Due to public demand. Due to public demand. Pull up. Shall I say due to consumer demand? Huh? Mm, yes. Hey, I see. His name is Mr. Mugambi Mutegi. And he's coming through again. Again. He was here about uh, about 10 days ago. Yeah, 10 days. Yeah. About Friday, last week, but one. He's the manager of communication and external relations at the Competition Authority of Kenya. We had a great conversation that time, but we touched briefly on something called consumer protection. Mm-hmm. And with that, we want to pick up from that uh, mm-hmm. today. So, Mugami, welcome back to Pearl in the Morning. Uh, thank you very much. It's I very good it to... Video. Yeah, I know. Jana Ulikuwa occupied. Ukipanda miti. Yeah, let's say someone in this studio who did some... Ulipanda nga hapo. No, personally, I planted around 20. 20. Wow. Well, 20 in Machakos at home, I planted six. Mm-hmm. Wow. Those are 26 Fantastic. more trees than I've ever planted in my life. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there are more. There, there are you more. have it. It started from a very low figure. <laughs> I know, man. Well, the bar is not very high. Holmes <laughs> has planted two. Is it two? Mimi. Mimi, Mimi. And Winnie has planted one in her life. Yeah. Well, but you've lived a very short life. So yeah. that's 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 commendable for okay. that short life that you've lived. I'm the one who's really shame on me for not planting any Why? trees. And I, and you're pro government. It has nothing to do with big government. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Support your leader. Yeah, you should plant trees. Yeah, you should. Whether or not it's a government agenda, trees are good. Yeah, Hobbs, I can pay you to go and plant trees. Can yeah. you do that for me? Ah, for who? Mugambi, welcome back. Of course, about consumer protection. For the layman who may be tuned in today from the bus, what is consumer protection? Uh, consumer wealth. First, let me let me explain uh, briefly about uh, Competition Authority of Kenya. Yes. For the listeners who didn't tune in. Who caught, yeah. Who didn't uh, tune in last week. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Competition Authority of Kenya, the acronym is CAK. Mm. Uh, we regulate market structure, market conduct. So we regulate how businesses uh, perform or, or behave in uh, in the market. And the market here, as I said last time, see Soko. Mm-hmm. It's mm. uh, sectors, so telecom. The business sector. The business sectors, various mm. business sectors out there. So, for instance, we regulate mergers and acquisitions. So if yes. you buy one company and you have one billion assets, combined assets and mm. uh, turnover, you have to come to us. We analyze how it's going to impact uh, cheapo mm. uh, options available to you mm-hmm. uh, secondly we uh, check the people who we talked with Hobbs uh, about uh, cartels uh. Mm. so cartels are those people who Kwanza, uh, how, how, Kwanza. Shikana, mm. uh, for you know profit seeking motives uh. yes. they, are, they are just selfish uh, gains themselves at the expense of the consumer uh, then there's another thing very tough language buyer power buyer power is uh, where where you, you your business in, in such a strategic position that there's some there's a supplier who supplies to you below you who's very economically dependent on you you can abuse that position you know refuse to pay them mm. on time uh, they can supply goods to you and then you refuse to 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 to, to pick them or such things those are so when when the abuse is there it's called abuse of buyer power mm-hmm. so uh, the main subject of today's conversation is something called consumer protection so consumer protection is uh, well oh, let's let's start with consumer rights mm-hmm. uh, when you buy goods and services as long as you're not for resale you are a consumer that's how the law defines who a consumer is mm-hmm. you buy the headset you have as long as you're not going to resell, resell it, it yeah. you are a consumer mm. whether it's a service or a good so when you purchase these things in the market you have certain rights and mm. they're enshrined in article 46 of the constitution mm-hmm. you have the right to full information of all you know all that sort for you to rec- for you to uh, fully benefit from a good or service mm. you require all the all the information mm-hmm. you uh, have rights to compensation if something harms you you have rights to fair advertising in the market so people just can't advertise uh, willy-nilly without uh, you know uh, lying to you perhaps mm. that's that's wrong so there are certain rights enshrined in the constitution mm. then now you come to our law the competition act uh, number 12 of 2010 that's where now it's more expansive, uh, several uh, pages mm. of now what we, we actually do uh, to, to, to ensure that your rights are not infringed. All right, when we come back in the next hour, I want to find out what are consumer rights particularly? How does one know their rights? Because I know ignorance is no defense. Yeah, sure. How are rights being abused right about now? And also, how do you seek redress in this? Okay. Some of the com- companies we're buying stuff from, we feel are very, very big companies. How do I take them to court? Mm-hmm. Where do I begin with? 
is this something that has been done before so is there precedence for that and also what about matters of money mm-hmm. how much money is being spent actually to protect us people or is okay. it just another organization where i feel like we're paying taxes mm-hmm. and nothing is being done about that i'll be back with mugambi in the next hour we're talking all matters the authority and the commission now but also particularly consumer protection yep. so if i have a complaint and say for example i go to a supermarket mm-hmm. and i buy soap mm-hmm. right and uh first of the, one of the things i see on tv is false advertising in terms of it clears 100 percent of yeah. stains have you seen those kind of hey. ads in fact, there's a smart one who says 99.9 percent. So moja, a, moja, moja. Moja moja too. <laughs> and you guys, you wash that thing like four <laughs> times, and it's not coming out. But whatever yeah. reason it is, and I have a complaint. Yeah. How do I get this process started? Do I go to the supermarket mm-hmm. where I bought the product from? Do I go online and tweet as many Kenya Kenyans do? Mm-hmm. How do I get redress for something that has on, hasn't gone right? Uh, as I said, you had asked before we went on a break uh, whether you know we are an, an, an agency that just you know spends mm, money. It's like, but no. it's another agency. Uh, no, no, we 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 actually do work. Eh? Mm. So, tip, what, what typically da- happens? You're supposed first to go to the person who has uh, wronged you, mm. or you think has wronged you. Mm. 90% of the time, the redress is immediate. So if it's a supermarket, uh-huh. you realize you've been sold something which does not meet, let's say it's a television set, mm. promise that it will do one, two, three, four mm. things, go to the store itself. Eh? Yeah. Before, don't rush to CAK first. Mm. Go to the store, uh, load your complaint. Mm. They could refund you, mm. you know, get, take back the uh, equipment or something, mm. or they could replace it, or they could repair it. Mm. Now, if you do that and still you're not satisfied with well at least not for refund that you have your money right you can yeah. still buy something else if it's repaired and you still don't like it or if they go you go there and they say no you know what yeah uh tembea uh, without we're not going to do anything you know some people are, are very arrogant eh? mm. no come to us and how to come to us is several ways there's a mobile app if you mm. go online on ios android just search competition authority of kenya you'll you know register then start lodging so if it's something you bought you mm. have your receipt the app itself allows you while in the app to take photos and you know write your narrative i did this i did this i went to the store mm. they declined to to assist me uh, if you go to our website www.cak.go.ke under the tab called e-services you mm. can file through our portal okay uh, you can call us and then uh, if you all this is not helpful call us mm. on uh, 254 uh, lastly, you can email us. People who prefer just simple email mm. to still go through the entire process. Complain, single N, not complaints. Mm. Complain at ck.go.k. We respond to you typically within five hours. I was going to ask that because you know some agencies tell us do this and then nothing happens until the CS has to go to the agency. Yeah. You know the Kiniki goes to yeah. near your house. I'm like, mm-hmm. I know you sit under treasury. Mm-hmm. So I'm waiting for Professor Jogona Dongo to come and say, Sasa, Mugambi, what do you want us to do? Mm-hmm. And let me give you a personal example and same thing. I bought a product um, maybe a few days ago. Mm-hmm. It's a deodorant that I bought. And the nozzle isn't working. Mm-hmm. It's not working. So I'm just like, so do I take it back to the supermarket? Yeah. Do I, first, if Kenyan was like, do I tweet them and say the product is faulty? Yeah. And it's actually under, uh, well, let me say universal brand. Let me not say mm-hmm. the brand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I'm like, oh, do I just call Mugambi and tell him, Mugambi, kuna supermarket up a junction. Yeah. You, you know somebody. <laughs> I know someone. No, South Kenyans love that thing for like, I'll show you. Yeah. Mm. I know somebody. Well, uh, there's no small complaint and big complaint. Actually, mm. if you go to our annual reports, you'll be surprised. There are people who just have an issue with a 60 bob packet of milk. Really? That's me. Yes. And they take it back to, to, the, to the supermarket <laughs> and they're, you know, they're given, oh, we are sorry. Uh, here's a, a case or two mm. uh, we are polar sana. so even your deodorant you should mm. first take it back to the to, to the supermarket to, to supermarket tell them this i purchased this you mm. know you have perhaps your mpesa receipts mm. you have the physical receipt tell them i bought this mm. uh, it's not working no you tell us what they what they tell you so even if it's something worth 300 shillings yeah. believe me they are kenyans out it jo- only takes uh, a second or two to mm. just open the app and again i forgot to, un- uh, to add eh? all this we do for free Oh, is it? Yeah, we won't charge wow. you anything. So, huh. yeah, it's free of charge. Let me throw a span in the wax and something Winnie has said about the packet of milk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What if I bought milk in Shags? Let's say I live in Shags. Mm-hmm. And I bought milk from like the local Akina Hobbs or Kona Mangombe man. Mm-hmm. And they <laughs> supply everyone with milk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the milk I get is not good milk. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, I don't have a receipt for that. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's what happens normally. Mm-hmm. Is there a way I can get a dress for that? Yeah, well, the receipt is, is a... Is a, is a the Mpesa transaction, transaction codes, all that uh, mm. suffice. 
So even if you went there with a shop that you really, you know, you, you have a personal relationship, yes. I'm sure you can still go and uh, then tell us. Eh? Mm. Yeah, but the ideal situation is where you have evidence that you know you purchased. So typically you'll find Kenyans they'll go and buy something worth even 200k, mm. then they won't keep the receipts. They won't keep the water that is uh, intact. Like, you buy a jug, a hot water kettle, keep the receipts. Have a box somewhere, a file somewhere. But is that practical? You guys keep receipts? I do. Yes. I got that from my mom. You I keep mean, receipts? There's even a day to declutter receipts yeah. for her. Hobbs, do you keep receipts? Aye. So now you're going to get a supermarket. You're going to get a supermarket. Yeah, supermarket. No, the ideal situation, keep them. You, know, you never know. You know, you've invested 200k on a nice yeah, uh, television, K, television yeah. set. Eh? Even this milk you're talking about. Okay, the good thing these days, you know, you'll find, uh, I've seen these supermarkets where they have an app. So mm. Even if you purchase something, even uh-huh. you don't have the receipts, if you log into the app, it can... It has like it, the backlog and says, yeah, this you actually you bought this product yes. and everything. So these okay. days, there are many ways of, of proving you actually did purchase If something. If I want any evidence, you come in your supermarket, you can see TV. Apo kwa counter si si so ni nani nikipita hapo TV ulion one of my viewer niko hapo si ndio that is me ita fungulio but that's not the extreme let's let's assume no guys it's a a crime the some guys ago au na evidence fungua si TV ndio do mimi hapo utamboi likuwa overwritten jana that is no evidence you are there mugamba na talk about some of the cases you guys have tackled that have aroused public interest in terms of consumer protection what are some one of maybe a case or two if you if any comes to mind there many there are many of them eh? mm-hmm. so uh, let's just say so far we, we 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 still have many cases but the reason some of one of the reasons i'm here is to entice people you know don't go to facebook alone and complain as you mm, suggest buyer beware. come uh, come come to us eh? mm. there is just public shaming of an organization or yeah like that. then what so some of the things we've done uh, the ones that uh, come to mind uh Uh, I was just about to mention the name. Eh? Mm. <laughs> uh, a steel, uh, um, a Mabati uh, manufacturing company mm-hmm. had made uh, uh, wrong or false uh, promises to consumers. Number one, mm. they'll deliver within a week. Mm-hmm. Mabati purchases Mabati, will deliver for free mm-hmm. within a week anywhere in the country. In the country. Mm-hmm. So, uh, long story short, they did nothing of a sort. So, they uh, would not deliver on time. Uh, they would force you sometimes you you, you know their gauges of uh, the, yeah. the mabati that you purchase yes. eh? so you wanted red gauge two yes so they tell you ah by the way no this doesn't cover we don't have two gauge two we don't have red can mm. you take black gauge mm. five you know mm. and all these things are different different tests all that eh? yeah. so basically they were lying to people to purchase and you have to pay upfront eh? mm. so it's, and it's not mabati is not uh, cheap so you're paying three hundred k four hundred k and it was a backlog it was so many things they were close to 60 complaints wow with us eh? for so, uh, for one the same one company. company same company yes wow so we penalized them 2.6 million wow yeah for 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 doing that and we told them you know remedy refund if you are unable to to to, to give winnie hamabati mm. in the next uh, 30 days just mm. refund her, her money remember mabati sometimes when people are purchasing they reach the tail end of the construction mm. or make and bow gets rained on done mm. yeah. Mugama, can i hear two things one If I don't file a complaint and you people know of it, can you come and look do your own investigation or must I actually go and file a complaint before you guys get to working? And then okay. secondly, many companies get away with this thing, a statement for terms and conditions apply. How does that play in fact when you're talking about consumer protection? We're back with Mugami Mutagi. We're talking about terms and conditions apply. <laughs> What does that mean, sir? Uh, T's, they call it T's? T's, T's and C's. T's. T's and C's eh? Yeah. So they typically Kenyans don't read them. Okay, yeah. let's just start. That yeah. uh, you sign. St- okay, sometimes it's not their fault. Uh, for instance, if it's banks, eh? mm. most of these terms and conditions, if you put in an asset finance, mm. and the, the booklet is it's so thick, it's so thick, uh, very small font, yeah, and very technical language. And that's like sign here. Yeah, you they just, just mark the X's. Know, yeah, X, mark, X. Sign up and up and yeah, up. So sometimes uh, it's important to 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 actually read the terms and conditions. Uh, if if they are not if they are not too uh, unf- if they're not unfair. Mm then they apply mm. so you, you can still have terms and conditions which are unfair to to the consumer so then it will they'll be negated eh, by the yeah. law itself eh, where you have, you will draw from the clause i told you last time called unconscionable mm. unconscionable conduct where 
someone who is in a position, a higher position, bargaining position, mm. for instance, someone selling something to you, forcing unfair terms on you. Mm. That we can, we can, you know, you can reverse whatever it is, even if you have signed. So, for instance, you'll, we've penalized many microfinance organizations. Is that so? Yes, I, I won't mention the names. I uh-huh. think uh, uh, the last financial year, there's one where, you know, you go, you someone took a million, uh, a nine million loan, was told this how much you'll be paying per month, mm. only for them to, you know, uh, deal pahali mm. paid uh, eight months in advance uh, oh. eight, eight months before so the he was did, expecting yeah. yeah the due date so he was expecting that you know i've saved some cash here yeah only for him to be told no 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 you still owe us 1.4 million and he was forced to pay so oh, if he was forced to pay he 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 went and and, and you know complained yeah the, uh, did you intervene yes we intervened he was refunded the 1.4 m so <laughs> so they wanted him to pay until his due date. Yeah, no. So what what happened is these terms and conditions. Uh-huh. There were you know uh, some terms which were there which were uh, Very true. Uh, which were which were wrong. Eh? Mm. So the interest rate. Some of them were not disclosed. As I said, mm. for for someone to to enjoy the full rights or you know to benefit properly from mm-hmm. a good or service, yeah. you need to have all the information. So there are some things this gentleman had not been informed about when mm. he was taking the loan. Some of the terms also are very uh, egregious, for lack of a better word. They are very unfair mm. on him. So he just looked at them, we analyzed and told the microfinance, you know what, eh? what you did here was wrong. Whether or not you're saying it's in your T's and C's, mm. eh? it was wrong. So terms and conditions apply, sometimes they don't apply. Mugami, some terms and conditions are what they call void ab initio. They're just illegal from the word go, so they're void. Yes. But then there's some I feel like the corporates hide behind. Mm-hmm. Is it their duty to educate the client mm-hmm on these terms because i mean if you're going to take a loan for instance at a bank i didn't know this that if you take a loan say like four hundred thousand, mm-hmm. what you actually get is like ninety eight thousand. like they don't give you the full they do this attack yeah. someone everything and sometimes i'm like but nobody told me this mm-hmm. and when i was signing the stuff because they gave me a booklet to sign mm-hmm. i mean i'm sure it's listed somewhere there but no one took me through is it their job to take us through or is it us to say hey let me read through and then come back uh Consumer rights. Mm. What I forgot to talk about are consumer responsibilities. Mm-hmm. So as we are talking even during the break, it's not, you know, you just go, don't go to the market as a consumer and consume things without also doing your uh, due diligence. diligence eh? If it's something you're purchasing to eat, you have to check the expiry date. When was it manufactured? You know, if it's something which you, you anticipate will wear down or wear uh, break down within a year or so, you need a repair. You need to ask, mm. uh, can I get you know, parts for this? Where can I get parts for this vehicle? Where can I get parts for this uh, equipment? Mm. When you're purchasing. So you're told, by the way, if you buy this, you know, there are, here, there are some vehicles getting parts takes six, seven months to ship yep. in. Eh? So you should ask those questions before buying the, before mm. buying the car. Mm. So in, even in this case, uh, the, the, the ones which avoid, uh, as you said, they avoid from, from the from start. The but all of you, you have to read. Now what, like for banks, <laughs> we realize this, these clauses are a bit uh, uh, too technical and we're engaging uh, uh, the, with the regulator and mm. uh, the association in that uh, sector just to tell them, you know what, Harmonize number one first. Harmonize this, these documents across, across uh, banks, and also make it simpler so that my mom, who does not really understand law terms, can you know read for herself or when she's being taken through can understand. Then keep it a bit simple, not 10, 15 pages of yeah. of text. Keep it to three and use simple, understandable language. But the owners of reading mm. and understanding what you're purchasing mm-hmm. is on the consumer. On the co- consumer, but you also ask the questions. All right. So what if there's no, if there's a loophole in terms of, let's say, let's say you're buying cake mm-hmm. from a bakery and this is a random bakery. They don't write an expiry date mm-hmm. or they don't, or bread, they don't write an expiry date. You know, it's not a big manufacturer. Look at me. Who's, and I didn't ask, when was this bread baked? Who's, is it the baker's responsibility or me the consumer? As again, twofold. Eh? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the bakers, mm. uh, and you pa- when you're buying, you mm. have to check. You know, you can't run and cry uh, foul mm. if you didn't. You know, uh, do your we'll do your due diligence. Mm. But mm. once you find this, this baker, bring them to us because they'll have infringed their law. They mm. should have indicated all those things, so we'll penalize them. All right. Good morning. This is Pile in the morning. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh huh. My name is Simon. Simon, do you have a question for M- Mr. Mugambi? Yes. Uh huh. How are you, Mr. Mogambi? I'm very fine, Simon. Yes. Now, there is this incident that happened to me last week. Eh? Uh-huh. I went to a certain supermarket. Uh-huh. 
found something they're selling at uh, 3,700 shillings, yeah? Mm-hmm. Got three of them. But nikienda kuesabiwa, mm. igakuja ilikuwa 5,050 shillings. Per item? Yes. Mm-hmm. Na pale kwa, kwa, kwa price yenye walikuwa meeka, mm. ilikuwa 3,708 shillings. Mm-hmm. So nukauliza mbona hii mechange so unajua instead of kulipa 11,124 they were telling me to pay 15,000 and uh, 150 shillings Yes So nukauliza price hiku kwa hivi They went back they confirmed the price that uh, wadikuwa meka ni mbaya mm. So nukafuatiliwa wakaita sijui nini Imagine from 7 in the evening up to 9 hawa kutatua kesi Wakanimbewa kuja the following day You see what we can do sijui session manager kuwa kwa available mm. Then I went back the following day. It was on Friday now. Mm-hmm. Nika Rudy, wakanya, wakanza kunizungusha. In fact, that evening, hata kuna moja wali, nabi, unajua customer, supermarket iwezi uza na, na asara. Obia sasa, nani aliyaka hii amount? Mm. Hii, 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 nimechukua, na nikabajetia hii amount. Now you are telling me to pay 4,000 ma- 4, extra. So, mm. tukongea, so the following day, nkaenda, wakafuatilia, wakakuja, wakanipia, you know what, there is nothing you can do. So it's either you buy na this price ama uwe Kwambia unajua makosa siyo yangu Mini mm. ilibajetia ina 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 So I went back Nika contact hii Unajua last week nisikia mwakambi pia kiambia Nika contact hiyo ni mm. Mm. Yo sasa wakani advice vile ntafanya mm. So kusikia I think someone overheard me ku vile niliambia hata niandike email mm. Then they came back eh Wakaniambia kato makamu do this eh pay for two if we pay for two then you, the the other one will give you three three so mm. na hivyo ndivyo tulitatua kesi so <laughs> should we be reporting those things because unajua kama singe kuwa nikikinunua hizo items sometimes i go there una purchase bitu mingi mm-hmm. unambia ilipa five twenty thirty thousand mm. and then maybe yue well, una time ya kukaunta check hile ya yeah. mouth unajua wakiesabu vitu tuwa kisikano unaekelea tu hapo kwa yeah. nini kwa kaunta yao so Maybe sometimes unaweza pata kitu palo wanauza at a hundred mm. Lakini ukienda kuangalia receipt badaye unapata ulezabua na maybe 150 shillings That's true Yeah, so do they pia control that? Okay, thank you Simon, thank you for calling Simon, okay, welcome Simon there wants to find out Mr. Mugambi Umesikia amesema liena supermarket mm-hmm. Jamai imandiku wapo 3000 and kitu Akifika kwa counter wamepandisha bay <laughs> imekuwa 5k ilipana in seconds <laughs> ilipana in seconds wajua inflation pia inapana sasa kine unashanga eh? tax <laughs> I have a culprit like that for supermarkets as well yeah. w- what happens in such as an instance Mugami that again is a clear violation of the law mm. there is no two ways about it mm. it's misleading uh, advertising misleading pro- providing misleading information to the mm. to the consumer mm. so the, it's, a, it's a, the disparity between teal and shelf so mm. it happens quite it a bit happen. quite. yes well, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I can't speak for the <laughs> whether it's intentional or what. I don't know. Yeah. But once something like that happens, which is similar to what Simon apparently did, mm. he called uh, CAK and I think he, he said he lodged yes. a complaint. They yeah. overheard him. Then they realized, oh, by the way, this thing is getting mm. uh, more serious than yeah. we intended. That's where they redressed him. Yeah. But Simon, uh, thank you for for, 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 for actually doing uh, the right thing. You complain first to the retailer that mm. you know what what you wrote on the shelf and what mm. you're telling me to, to pay at the cash tier are two different are two things, different things. Mm. so you complain if they refuse to to, to remedy mm. come to us so me have a question mm-hmm. from a friend even, of mine even when you should report eh? yeah because okay. you know Clearly. actually I, i'm just sorry to bat in hopes i've been one of those guys who i buy something and so i know it's maybe 3k yeah. like he said at the counter and so when i go to the whatever the till uh-huh. or the or well, buy it from the get it and the counter mm-hmm. being served i'll give my debit card mm-hmm. and you know for me I, I many times i don't even check, check the amount well, yeah. i just check in and i key in whatever the pin is as i'm going home and i'm looking you know i get like a, a, a uh, the, the uh, notification uh, yeah. from the bank then i'm like wait 5k make up to up in a sangapi then i go back and they tell me no you've already bought this thing and i was like oh. bro when i bought it there that was the price I was looking for. Let me get one more call before I get to you, DJ Hobbs. 0701-969-969 is the number you can keep on calling for. But before we get that, Hobbs. So, a friend of mine bought cake. Sime, sime kuwa nini cream ime kuwa cake nini katunji yake ya benten. Kufika nyumbani, it was bread. Eh? No. Bread. Ah, you are just dealing with a corn man. I am honestly saying it. You are just dealing with a corn man. 
ali buy the, the, the interesting thing is yeah. ali buy kwa 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 supermarket mkate imepakwa cream mkate like you keki ina kadu mkate kabisa you are dealing with wait wait mpaka ali post online akasema hey guys you guys have sold me bread is this a true story? True story. And cut uh, any basically the kick became Ben 5. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so the, the question is this. He keki iko na cream. Music kama ni keki already. Ni 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 keki ama ni mkate. Na nisha buy ni vikwe kwa nyumba nisha kata. How do I ask them to, to refund me of my money or give me another kick? Mm. Simple. Mm. And I'm, I'm I'm sorry that that happened. I'm sure guy you Ben 10 must mm. have been a kid in yeah. a bit disappointed. Yeah. Take photos of this cake. Mm-hmm. Again, the procedure is simple. I'm mm. sure the supermarket that you're dealing with perhaps has an online uh, email address. Mm. Send it to them. Walk there physically. Sometimes it may, it may cost you, but yeah. when your rights are infringed, it's your rights. Uh, it's your right. Send, uh-huh. send complain then see what they do if they don't do anything including that one for the cake mm-hmm. come to us mm-hmm. and test us like simon said mm. eh? we actually do our work so you test us eh? i hope you don't get another piece of bread in the name <laughs> of a cake but if it ever happens to you you bring it to us mm-hmm. yeah if you have any complaint you have anything you want to ask mugam you can call us on 0701-969-969 text in live on 0702-969-969 it's all about consumer protection right here on pearl in the morning again just lodge, go on the app go on the app lodge the complaint what is, what is the app name Mm-hmm. What is the app name? If I'm looking for it on the Play Store, what am I looking for? Competition Authority of Kenya. Competition Authority yes. of Kenya. It's an app and it's on the iOS store and Android, and the Android store. Yes. Okay, on the App Store. So as well. once, but even those uh, no, uh, iter- iteries that are on, mm. on, on, on mobile, mm. they have their own redress mm. mechanisms. Just complain. Mm. Don't consume. If you really didn't want mm. uh, the original flavor, don't consume it. You have your receipts. And no Kenyans can complain. No, eh? just, just be petty and try us. They can complain. Hello, this is Pearl in the morning. Hey, hey, what's so, up? How are you? Uh, thank you so much for this conversation, Mr. Mugambi, sir. Thank you for validating <laughs> my need to be healthy <laughs> and to be aware as a consumer. Mm-hmm. What's your name and where so, are you calling from? Sorry, oh, I'm calling from the road. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, yes, I'm really enjoying this conversation, mostly because I'm very, very particular about my brand. Mm. So, this one time I bought this brand of rice that I'm very particular of. I think I have uh, known all the qualities of that brand of rice. Mm-hmm. So anytime there's a change, I'm always so keen to notice. So one time I bought the best rice, and of course you know that um, when you buy a product, you have a way of doing your storage, yeah? Mm-hmm. So for me in my household, I will buy the rice, and then I will transfer it to a container, and then I'll uh, keep it. So this particular time, I had a little bit of the previous product, and then now I had bought now a top-up. I noted that the one that I had bought was a different shade of color mm. from the one that I had bought previously. So even the taste was a bit different. So I was like, ah, no, this is not, this is not the product that I know. So mm. I took it back to the supermarket and of course I didn't have a receipt. <laughs> then got for Empresa, so mm. they were able to draw up uh, the, the receipt for me. But now the burden of proof was on me as a customer. Like I had to prove that I had bought it from here. I had to prove at the all oh, the bag the the what the packaging the bag mm. I think it was the same and it was really really agitating me that I, the burden of proof had to lie on me. I was like, of course, I threw it away because I now changed it into another container. Yeah. But uh, so on and so on and so on. So I really really complain. In fact, what I did because I'm really super petty, I went to another supermarket. I got the same uh, product. And then I turned it back to that other supermarket and I told them, now see, this is the same product. See how yours looks and see how this other one looks. And they're like, sure, sure, sure. We'll take all the products and then we'll take it back to the to the manufacturer. But they were so adamant that, you know what, we're retailers, we don't do quality assurance. It is mm. on you. We shall just uh, take it up the ladder, which I found it was very, very irresponsible. At least some sort of quality assurance should be given to me as a consumer. So on and on it went, and then of course they called me back a few days after. They're like, oh, we're sorry, yes, the manufacturer did uh, address it, and he said that he had changed suppliers. So this is now coming from the manufacturer, that he has changed uh, suppliers and he's now getting supply from someone else. Now my question is, shouldn't the uh, producer or the one who's selling this product, shouldn't they inform me as a customer that they're changing, like now the product will taste different or it will look different? Or should I figure it out on my own? That's my question. That's Thank an you. excellent question. Thank you for calling. Bye. Mugambi. Yes. What is that? What is that?
What do you do with that? Uh, first, uh, sorry for your experience, and I'm I'm glad at the end of the day the 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 the, the matter was resolved. Eh? Mm. So, well, manufacturers won't typically tell you when they are changing uh, the product. What they to tell us? Not necessarily. Really? Yeah. Mm. As long as they still abide by you know, the, 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 you know, this uh, cabs issued mm. uh, standards. Mm-hmm. That is what they should adhere to. Mm. So as you can tell, uh, in this case maybe one was white another one was a bit brown something mm. is a miss somewhere yeah so as long as they are adhering to they don't have to come and tell you by the way we added one spoon of sugar mm. as opposed to the brand that we always have two spoons mm. they can make the changes there's this water brand people noticed a rebrand eh? mm. should they come and tell you that we're going to rebrand not necessarily but when they do it you know you'll, you'll all see if there's an mm. issue then uh, as she said, it, it may look laborious because, the, as, the, as she's saying, the, the burden of proof rests with the, with the customer. Uh, but you have to do the work also. When, mm. when someone in, you know, infringes you, like, you could be a shamba, mm. you do the actual work, you go to court. So mm. in this case, uh, don't get tired of actually complaining. Okay? And as she, <laughs> she's very, <laughs> using her own yeah. words, eh? mm. petty. That pettiness is not, it's not being petty. It's actually when, 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 you, when your rights have been infringed, if that is what you're going to call it, be petty. Complain. Mm. Go complain. If the retailer is not, in this case, had the, hadn't the retailer gone all the way to the manufacturer, she still had an avenue. Should have come to us. Mm. Yes, and would have helped her. Does the retailer owe the customer a duty of care? Does the trailer? Retailer. Yes. Do they owe the customer a duty of care? In some instances, let's assume uh, a product is visibly not okay. Mm. Yeah, they have to, you have to do something eh? mm. and, 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 and and check. If it's tomatoes, you can't have rotten tomatoes. Mm. If it's meat, remember that time when there was a, yep. a, an apro? Yep. The retailer can't say, you know what, I don't know how, yeah. I don't know how I, I don't own a slaughterhouse, yes, I don't, I don't yeah. know how bad meat looks like. Yeah. Yes, this one mm. looks, it's green. You yeah. should, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, a, there's some evidence here yeah. shouting at you that this thing is bad. So you have to remove it from the shelf. Right. It could be a bit tricky with rice because, you know, it's Package, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. yeah, yeah. I asked earlier, uh, Mugambi, if there's a matter that is in the public domain, mm-hmm. but there's one in particular who's come forth to file a complaint. Do you get yourself involved in this? Uh, no, we do both. Eh? So mm. we, we investigate whether or not it's abuse of buyer power, whether or not it's issues to do with cartels. Mm. You can complain. Uh, Hobbs can bring, you know, uh, uh, unga, uh, mambe unga, cake. a letter, then will, <laughs> or is a uh, ben, t- ben five, ben cake. five cake, yes. <laughs> yeah, cut, uh, brown bread, I hope. Brown bread. Eh? So mm. you can come to us, but typically when it comes to consumer protection issues, we do mystery shopping. We, we, we prioritize sectors that when we do an intervention, the mm. impact to the Kenyan public is, is is a lot. So we did maize flour. Explain for the listener first, what is mystery shopping? So mystery shopping, uh, for instance, as I said, we are doing an uh, investigation. We did an investigation in the maize flour sector, mm. wheat, uh, edible oils. So what our st- members of staff will do, they'll go to the supermarkets mm. randomly, pick several brands, then since we uh, we work uh, we have a working MOU with the cabs, mm. we take them to cabs. We have these issues. Uh, have they uh, met the ingredients? Uh, they claim there's no uh, cholesterol in this edible oil. Mm. Can you, you know, check for us because then they have the equipment, they have the scientists, they mm. do all that. Mm-hmm. When they give us a report, now we we penalize. But we we we, we prioritize if we check bread, uh, wheat flour, edible mm. oils, uh, sectors that. Every other Kenyan is and, using uh, the product almost yes, on a daily yes, basis. Yes. We need us before we went on a break about the service sector. Mm-hmm. How do you regulate that? If someone has offered me a service and I don't feel mm-hmm. um, they did a good job on it, um, I want to I think of an example. We need. Do I say? <laughs> do yeah, your hair? I mean, I mean, Il- Il- Liona, <laughs> Nukambia, This is how I want my hair to look and like. And ladies will will actually relate to this a lot because you you know we go to the salon, we want this service. You in fact have a Pinterest picture of what hairstyle you mm. actually want, right? Yeah, come on. Yeah, mm. that's like mm. And eventually, you it's not delivered the same way. Mm. Or in the process of the. Um, them doing your hair, they mm. injure your hair. Maybe they cut your hair. Or maybe they use a chemical that burns down all your hair. I mean, I've, I have, I've, I've seen a lady to Kokwa Salon and they were trying to relax their hair and the chemical just burns mm. out all her hair. Mm. And yeah, the, the, all the hair falls on the, in the sink. She was not relaxed at all, eh? <laughs> she was not relaxed at <laughs> all. So what do we do? Uh, nice one. So uh, according to our law, the yeah. Competition Act, a consumer, you are a consumer. Mm. Whether or not you, as, lo- as I said, as long as you're purchasing a good or a mm. service, mm. and not for not for resale purposes. Mm. So uh, once you do that, once you know your hair get burns or something, you still have to to complain 
uh, again the process is so simple mm. complain with them uh, it's not okay it's not simple i'm sh- yeah. mm. no 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 <laughs> chipo, chipo is, yeah uh, shaking is no saying i'm saying you the, complain I mean, go to them, to them. go to them the yeah. service provider uh, take photos uh, not very flattering photos of your mm-hmm. hair which is burned down eh? uh-huh. then share with us once we do that we will go through the motions again and uh, but i said last time when you're going for these services when you're buying these goods go to specific places where we can mm. if we lodge a, an investigation we can get these people not, not the local salon down the no, road the local salon i think we we, we can we can sort okay. you out yes. okay you know, well, what i was saying is things like uh, a cart eh? mm. i was giving an example you purchase something an electronic a radio mm. on, a, on a cart um, mm. someone akona mkokoteni anauza yes. hapa leo kesho is in westland Aha. so uh, how will we get this person you know in the, when you said pettiness eh mm. They, there's someone who I feel you can make a killing from an industry mm-hmm. you can make a killing from what do you want to do like fundi mm-hmm. Nairobi <laughs> fundi Nairobi and fundi wangu I have fundi wangu fundi wangu but fundi ni fundi but fundi wangu for two main reasons mm-hmm. one there's a design you give them <laughs> and then what they deliver is nowhere close to that that's one and then but personally i have one who's offended me in terms of the time they take to do this thing yeah oh my god and they told me it's going to take them three weeks to yeah. do this thing and based on their assurance mm-hmm. i planned that way mm-hmm. on only to get there the night before the wedding and my suit is nowhere near, near done they can't work on it overnight uh what 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 is what address is there for me bana still uh it's you've been misled mm. by the by the fundi mm. so you still have you still have recourse bring the problem to uh, bring the complaint to us go to them try you know some of these things as much as they are, they are a bit subjective mm. in terms of uh, what suit you wanted and what yes. was delivered yeah let's discuss that when the complaint is there let's discuss what you uh, it's a bit subjective but we will, yeah. we will go through the portions M- together Mugame, you're saying you're gonna take someone to luthuli avenue if that's where my complaint is in my meeting from yes we will who said we can't go we can go we, we were just saying in in town sometimes uh, for instance if we are you know we're not based out on Nairobi, mm. but uh, in the event that we have to go we will still go we have people who uh, when they're doing other other things they can uh, go check mm. uh, in mombasa for instance we can send our people there and uh, we we don't as much as we are based in nairobi mm. this mystery shopping is not only done in Nairobi. in Nairobi yeah yes even when you're doing cartels I can mm. tell you for for sure when we went to one of the steel cartels mm. we went to Mombasa went to Kisumu we yeah flew our people there and raided these companies at 5 5 30 a.m mm. so we actually go beyond it's not a Nairobi based it, or a Nairobi yeah. agency alone if, Nairobi if you ask the former minister of industry to tell you go to Roiro yeah? go to Roiro <laughs> the oil is cheaper in Roiro go to Roiro not just in Nairobi all right so and i know problems, whether or not in kisumu nairobi juja wherever mm-hmm. we will sort you out all right yeah. and as an agency how has it been have you been getting more and more complaints are kenyans trusting the agency to solve their complaints and then finally if you think for me do you have arresting power sometimes i just want these people arrested i don't even want just as suited as idea to prove yeah. a point <laughs> yeah i just want to prove a point do you have arresting power and uh, prosecution power so number one we've uh, as i said my work Uh, or the department's work at CK is to raise our profile. Mm. So I'm sure like today we've spoken we need uh, is going to lodge a, a complaint. Mm, so that's why hair. that's uh, about her hair. So mm. that's why we we you know we go uh, to radio stations, TV, write opinion pieces, mm. all that so that people are, are know their rights, know where to to get redress. Mm. So we've been seeing a progressive uh, increase in number of complaints. They're still not they're still sub if you if you check people who complain on uh, Facebook, mm. vis vis what we get Right now, I think we are doing 401 last financial year, which is a lot if you compare the growth from 100 and something, just three, four years, mm. it was 100 complaints, an entire year. Wow. Now we are doing 401 in one financial year. Wow. Okay. We've made savings. Four times. Some, yeah. That's four times the number. Yeah, around four times. Eh? So yeah. that's quite, uh, and it's a, a product, it's, well a, it's, it's a product of uh, sensitization, mm. awareness creation, similar to what we are doing today. Mm. But admittedly, that number is still low. We're not 401 Kenyans out here. Yeah. And all of us have have complaints yes yeah so we the number should be way higher than that it should be yeah. is there room to work with buyer beware because buyer beware on facebook is why see everyone go and complain <laughs> everyone and their grandmother yeah is there complaining about the mechanic mm-hmm. about their landlord about a phone that they bought a product from or their hair mm-hmm. is there room to partner with those kind of guys who are maybe a step ahead on that matter yeah, with, actually uh but we at, at some point i think the informal engagement mm. you know these are not things perhaps you can go formalize but mm. uh, i have colleagues or friends mm-hmm. who when they see issues there they point them 
to the right agency the, yes. and word of mouth sometimes is the best uh, mm. advocate for you so you'll find people complaining on bar beware and they've been told by the way this an agency called uh, competition authority mm. try them out eh? we've worked with influencers before oh really so yes yeah, we we, we, we are very soon you're going to be doing podcasting mm. so we are doing well a lot a lot of things to in, to ensure that this number uh, does not stick at a uh, 400 mm. that we want to be doing tens of thousands of complaints which is a it's not a good thing it's you know when more complaints are good for yeah uh, showing that actually people know their rights eh? yeah, it's a exactly. bit it's it's uh <laughs> what's it called negative is good yeah yeah so for me i'll say this what buttons oh buttons okay huh imekuja na vifungu sita ama I've got a phone online. No phone is gonna issue. Is that worthy enough to come talk to you? Or uh-huh. back home in my mtumba shop. Mm-hmm. Client amekuja, nimemuuliza <laughs> ngoma. Ama a client has gone to a mtumba shop somewhere. I'm on Malisafi. Mm. Kuvaa imtoshi. Mm-hmm. Anataka kurudisha imekataa. Mm. Can they report to you? Mm. Uh, mtumba inaweza kuwa tricky kidogo mm-hmm. because again unaona hizi nguo mm-hmm. uh, uh, they're not you cannot maybe substantiate or, or mm. prove hata <laughs> wakisema ni camera quality <laughs> camera sasa <laughs> uh, wakisema ni camera mare mare hiyo <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i think uh, unarudisha tu kwao mm-hmm. unaona venye mtasikizana mm-hmm. i don't think we have gone the mtumba route or, mm-hmm. or tested our loan that mm-hmm. but we can we can see you try try them out but hobs mm-hmm. kuna kwanga na karuma hapo na yeah. where you test sasa so, shida hobs buys by faith yeah yeah no you see alafu anafanya vitu kama you know and at night and ava bila kuambia anyone who's buying shoes on the street at night i bought sneakers at night when Woni mgeni na Nairobi. But now, again, Woni no. mgeni Nairobi huyo. <laughs> Consumers always sometimes forget their responsibility. Nunua na nini na yeah. ta. Na ta na jua. Aka yote kuna daylight mingi zimeja. Ah, kuna. But the example you gave about uh, buying a mobile phone all mm-hmm. that we just mm-hmm. not know there's that joke we have uh, sometimes at work when you're doing this eh? mm-hmm. saying unanunua TV leo ikifika nyumbani na kuwa radio. <laughs> <laughs> so that one you come to us eh? you, you intended to have a television set mm-hmm. but yeah. when you get home the screen is not going on you just get it out. one thing also like now there are so many good phones mm-hmm. online mm-hmm. but they're very cheap. Unaona iPhone 11 <laughs> I'm at 12 ah, yeah, 30k yeah. in fact there was a case the other day <laughs> about people selling iPhones and I won't mention the the company yeah, I know about it, yeah. and then what happens they actually refurbished iPhones mm. they're not brand new iPhones exactly but they are being sold the impression is that they are brand new. there's no explicit mm. uh, saying that that it's refurbished uh-huh. iPhones. What, what do you do with such a person uh, such a matter let me not go to specifics it's, it's wrong eh? mm. if a phone is refurbished you should tell them it's refurbished, refurbished our, yes. our law is very specific you have to be very clear about the origin of this thing as i mm. said i'll give you an example about spare parts yes so all these things you should tell someone a refurbished laptop a refurbished phone is very different yep from, from a, a brand, brand new one yeah so if i'm selling you a refurbished whether you package it nicely and seal it properly you should tell me mm. it's refurbished then mm. i'll make my my decision, decision. if you sell without uh, indicating it is wrong it is illegal yeah. all right let's bring this to a close i have someone who wants to know the the app again how we can get more information of this if there's any work you've done if you have a website how can we get more information of that as you give us your parting shot mr mugambi uh, so the biggest uh, thank you again for uh, second uh, bite of no man thank you for coming yeah mm-hmm. so our website is where i think everything is mm-hmm. www.cak dot go dot ke if you go there everything is there the portal is there the, mm. how you can you can use the portal there are manuals mm. on how to use it how mm. to file complaints they are frequent asked questions about consumer protection so everything is mm-hmm. there i won't go to the portal uh, and everything else mm-hmm. www.cak.go.ke and also the apps one more time or oh, the app yes the mobile app uh, on ios and android just google or search our name competition mm. authority of kenya there's the app that will come there there's only one mm. download that create a uh, you know create a, a profile then start complaining <laughs> awesome mugambi mutegi there for the manager communication and external relations at the competition authority of kenya thank you so much for spending time with us this my uh, tuesday morning it's monday in my mind because the new week don't take our days well. <laughs> we'll take you back to competition authority <laughs> for selling days yes yeah, selling days <laughs> pearl radio the home of fresh and classic hits